user safety information for the recommended storage, handling and use, and disposal of various forms of thermoplastic pavement marking materials. Pay close attention. Your knowledge and work habits will ensure safe applications for the public, your coworkers, and most importantly, yourself. You may also be tested on your knowledge after this presentation. Thermoplastic pavement markings are composed of three basic materials. Plastic resin binders, filler materials consisting of marble and glass microspheres, and color pigments. These materials are heated in a kettle until they reach a temperature of approximately 425 degrees Fahrenheit when they are then discharged and permanently bonded to the roadway. When recommended application and storage techniques are used, thermoplastic pavement marking materials are perfectly safe and pose no hazard to those who use them in their day-to-day -day work environments. Although certain individual metallic components which are listed as hazardous materials by the Environmental Protection Agency are present within the thermoplastic material, no hazardous substance has ever been detected in tests performed on crews and manufacturing personnel who are in constant contact with thermoplastic pavement marking materials. Also, EPA document number 450-388-007, entitled Reduction of Volatile Organic Compound Emissions from the Application of Traffic Markings, finds thermoplastic pavement marking fumes to have negligible VOC content compared to markings such as paint or preformed markings requiring the application of adhesives. Neither do the fumes from thermoplastic contain any known carcinogens. Federal law requires that a material safety data sheet, MSDS, be provided with each shipment of material and be available for inspection by all workers who will be working with the material. If you wish to inspect this document, request that your supervisor furnish you with a copy. It contains a comprehensive list of every material found in the thermoplastic compound, the acceptable limits permitted for each material by the EPA, and the amount of each in the thermoplastic material you are using. Pavemark brand thermoplastic pavement marking materials have a shelf life of approximately one year. The material can be safely stored inside an enclosed warehouse without any hazardous fumes emitted or any decrease in material quality. Bagged granular or boxed block materials should be kept dry and in their original polyethylene wrapped pallet packaging until final use. Do not store pallets near open flames or sources of extreme heat or moisture. If materials must be stored outside and exposed to the elements, an extra base pallet is recommended to minimize the effects of ground moisture. Material should also be covered with a waterproof tarp large enough to cover the sides of the entire pallet. Also, be aware that alkyd block materials will cold flow at temperatures above 77 degrees Fahrenheit, appearing to melt. To minimize this effect during hot summer months, the following storage technique is recommended. 1. Keep material in its original poly-wrapped pallets until required. 2. Keep the pallets stacked tightly and flat. 3. If materials are stored outside, elevate on an extra base pallet and cover completely with a tarp. 4. Materials should be stored only one pallet high. If double stacking is required, it is recommended that a wood 4 inch by 4 inch post be centered between boxes and also placing a pallet sized plywood sheet flat on top of the boxes and post. This will evenly distribute and minimize the weight on the lower pallet boxes. By following these simple storage recommendations, you can be assured your inventory of thermoplastic pavement marking materials will be safely stored and also will continue to provide you with the manageability, utility, performance, and handling efficiency you expect. Thermoplastic pavement marking materials can be safely applied with a variety of application equipment. These units range from manually pushed hand liners, motorized ride-on applicators, and either separate or all-in-one truck-mounted melter applicators. Although beyond the scope of this video, you should be thoroughly trained in the safe operation of the particular equipment you are using and its individual component systems. Whenever you work with thermoplastic materials, you should wear the following clothing. 
leather palmed gloves, long sleeve cotton shirts, long cotton pants, steel toed, thick soled work shoes and cotton socks, safety glasses or full face shields. The gloves and cotton clothing will assist you from coming into contact with molten material or heated objects such as the sides of kettles or application dyes. Synthetic clothing materials are not recommended because they will instantly melt on contact. The gloves will also decrease the chances of cuts from the edges of block material when loading pre-melters and kettles. If you are accidentally splashed with molten thermoplastic or come into contact with thermoplastic immediately upon application, do not attempt to remove it. Immediately pour cold water onto the affected area, which will solidify the material. Seek immediate medical assistance for proper removal. Particular attention to safety should be given while loading materials into kettles. Always wear leather gloves. When opening a kettle lid, do it slowly. Preferably stand up wind from the applicator and slowly lift the lid to allow any fumes to escape before adding material. Always wear a face shield to minimize and avoid burns from splashing. Always carefully release bags or blocks of materials, letting them slide into the kettle. Never forcefully throw bags or blocks into the melter. The EPA measured volatile organic compound, VOC content of thermoplastic pavement marking fumes have been found to be negligible. By avoiding extreme concentrations which escape when a kettle is immediately opened, no discomfort should be experienced. Also, fumes emitted from melting thermoplastic do not contain any known carcinogens. If you cannot avoid excessive vapor concentrations, if you are melting material in an area with minimal ventilation, or if you suffer from respiratory diseases or conditions such as asthma, hay fever, or allergies, use an approved respirator which will eliminate any compound fumes or particulate matter from the air. By adhering to these recommendations, you can expect your job and work environment to be completely safe. Always respect the fact that you are working with an extremely hot product. You wouldn't reach into a baking oven without an oven mitt or touch the surface of a hot burner. You must treat your equipment, tools, and materials with the same respect. Neither would you stand downwind from a smoking barbecue pit or work with household cleaning materials in an enclosed space without suffering some discomfort. By planning for your work properly, you can safely minimize your exposure to any subsequent fumes. Follow basic personal hygiene rules. After handling any material directly, always wash your hands before eating or smoking. Never abandon an active thermoplastic applicator and think that you have time to fetch an article you have left elsewhere. Once the melting procedure begins, only you can be responsible for its proper operation and safety. Although thermoplastic pavement markings are not environmentally hazardous, it is against federal EPA laws to randomly dump any industrial chemical where it may seem to be convenient. You should plan your applications to minimize the amount of material left in the kettles at the end of the workday. Hand liners should be completely emptied, either by striping or by draining into either an aluminum pan or thermoplastic drain-off box. When thermoplastic pavement markings are emptied into special boxes at day's end, it will cool and solidify. It can then be remelted and applied at a later date with little or no waste. This characteristic is one of the reasons thermoplastic pavement markings is the most preferred durable pavement marking product throughout the world. Plan your day for proper shutdown and equipment maintenance. If you have material which must be disposed of, do it in compliance with EPA and local laws. Never abandon or dispose of materials alongside highways or right-of-ways. By following these simple, easy-to-do safety recommendations, thermoplastic pavement marking materials are perfectly safe. If you have further questions, please discuss them with your crew chief or immediate supervisor.